looking for the best home theater systems for you? Then you're in the right place, we've assembled a list of the top 5 home theater systems that we've reviewed. We have reviewed many products and selected 5 products based on performance, unique features, and many users, and if you can't find a home theater systems that suits your needs exactly, keep this video for future updates. For their prices please visit the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, here are our top recommended home theater systems. Number 1 on the list is Vizio Elevate Sound Bar, for a combination of ease of setup and use plus great sound, our overall pick for most people is the Vizio Elevate Sound Bar for TV. It manages to cram 5.1.4 channels of Dolby Atmos ready sound into a deceptively simple package, looking at setup, things are fairly simple. You have the base sound bar unit, two satellite speakers, and a subwoofer. While the satellite speakers require wires, you get a wireless subwoofer, which makes setting this system up an easy process. While there are only a few speakers in this system, Vizio has equipped the Elevate soundbar with 18 individual speakers of its own. This helps give the system a depth and width beyond what you'd expect from a soundbar system, among these are four upward-firing speakers for Atmos and DTSX. A pair of adaptive height speakers even automatically rotate to add even more depth to the sound of your TV shows, movies, and music. The Elevate soundbar also has other smart features, including a remote with a backlit display making it easier to use when you've got the lights dimmed. Chromecast built-in lets the soundbar double as a speaker for music, podcasts, and other audio as well. You can place the speakers anywhere you like, but for wall-mounted setups, Vizio includes mounting hardware for both the soundbar and satellite speakers. All in all, Vizio's Elevate soundbar is a perfect package for most people. Second on the list is Logitech Z906 5.1 Surround Sound, if you don't want a soundbar, but still want the simplicity of a system based on a soundbar, the Logitech Z906 5.1 Surround Sound Speaker System is a fantastic option. You get everything you need all in one package but still have a complete 5.1 channel setup, this THX certified home theater system doesn't feature Dolby Atmos or DTSX, as there are no upward firing speakers. That said, it does feature DTS and Dolby Digital, ensuring that everything you hear out of this system is crystal clear. Unlike many home theater in a box solutions, the Logitech Z906 features one speaker per channel. That means you're getting stereo, left and right and left and right surround channels as well as a subwoofer, the subwoofer here is substantial, given the overall price. You get an 8-inch driver powered by a 165-watt amplifier in the subwoofer, enough to add significant bass to explosions, thundering engines, or anything else that makes your movies more exciting. One interesting inclusion in the Z906 is something Logitech calls 3D Stereo. This takes older movies and TV shows or any other stereo audio content and expands it to encompass the room via the surround channels. It's a neat audio upgrade that not every home theater setup can do, the Logitech Z906 doesn't feature HDMI, but it does feature inputs for up to six devices split between analog and digital inputs. You get RCA analog, digital coaxial, and digital optical ports. Number 3 on the list is Vizio M Series 5.1 Premium Sound Bar, running wires from your TV to a sound bar is bad enough. Having to run wires for all the other speakers is often close to impossible. Fortunately, with the Vizio M Series 5.1 Premium Sound Bar, those worries are mostly taken care of for you, this package consists of the main sound bar, a subwoofer, and two satellite speakers. Though that's only four speakers, this system can handle a not only standard 5.1 channel surround sound but also Dolby Atmos and DTSX. While the M Series soundbar is mostly wireless, it isn't totally wireless. First, you need to plug the soundbar and subwoofer into the wall. Second, the satellite speakers aren't wireless. Instead, they connect to the subwoofer, 
which is still much handier than running wires from the soundbar itself, there are two ways to connect the soundbar to your TV, with the intended connection being the HDMI port. This carries audio from your TV to the soundbar via HDMI audio return channel, ARC. Even better, this model features eARC, so you can pass Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision through to the TV, as well as control the soundbar with your TV remote. If you don't have a TV equipped with eARC or ARC, you can connect using the optical digital audio input. The soundbar also has a 3.5mm auxiliary port and a second 3.5mm port for connecting voice assistants like the Amazon Echo. Finally, you can also connect using Bluetooth, which makes listening to music from your phone easy. Number 4 on the list is Nakamichi Shockwave Elite 7.2.4. Nakamichi produces several versions of the Shockwave, but the Nakamichi Shockwave Elite 7.2.4 is the perfect balance of channel count, features, and price. This hybrid soundbar and speaker package consists of five main pieces. You get the main soundbar, dual 8-inch subwoofers, and a pair of rear speakers. Unlike many satellite speakers, the rear speakers are two-way, pairing a tweeter and a woofer for fuller surround sound. The main soundbar faces two speakers outward instead of forward. Nakamichi says on its Amazon store page that this leads to a sound stage that is more than 35% wider than a standard soundbar. You get convincing surround sound in combination with the dual subwoofers and rear speakers, as the category implies, this is a fully Dolby Atmos capable surround sound system. For upward firing speakers bounce sound off your ceiling, adding realistic height differences into the sound field. The Nakamichi Shockwave Elite has HDMI capabilities allowing for 4K video, complete with Dolby Vision HDR pass-through. The HDMI ARC port also allows for Dolby Atmos from your TV, if it's capable of outputting Atmos. This lets you use Atmos from Netflix and similar apps built into smart TVs. If a 7.2.4 channel setup still feels too limited for you, you can always step up to the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2.4 model. It's several hundred dollars more expensive, but you get an even richer soundscape due to the extra channels. Number 5 on the list is Klipsch Reference R26FA. Most of the other systems we're looking at in this guide aren't traditional home theater systems. Sound bars and wireless systems can certainly make your life much easier, but they don't offer the same sound quality as a traditional system like the Klipsch Reference R26FA. While this setup offers superior audio quality, it's less an all in one system than a collection of great sounding speakers. There is no wireless connectivity and really no connectivity to speak of at all. Other than speaker connectors, the main highlight of this system is the pair of Klipsch Reference R26FA floor standing speakers, which feature built-in Dolby Atmos Elevation Channel speakers. These are complemented by a Klipsch Reference R52C Center Channel speaker, R12SW subwoofer, and a pair of R14 bookshelf speakers. The speakers use Klipsch's Tractrix horn technology, which the company says makes for clearer high-end with less room reflection. Combined with the overall size of the speakers and the 12-inch subwoofer, your guaranteed room-filling sound, in addition to the sound, the black and copper color scheme that marks Klipsch's reference line looks great anywhere. The speakers are guaranteed to last as well, as they're covered by Klipsch's 5-year warranty. Just now is a list of 5 best home theater systems that we would like to introduce to you. For more detailed information about these products, please visit the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, you will receive our latest videos. Thank you.